Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be installing a dual locking hood latch kit. I'm using the Rampage. It replaces uh, your factory latches with locking ones. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. By the way, we're working on a 16 Jeep Wrangler, but this works on any JK. There's one that you can put inside here, but I don't want to locks showing in here. These will be put over and replacing these. Um, here's really what it is. Couple locks, keys, and then your hardware. It's a pretty good system. It's very solid. These pieces are really, really heavy duty. I mean really heavy. And uh, we're going to put this in today. To start out, we're just going to take the grill off. I don't know if you need to or not, but you got to get in here. It's just easier. We just pop out these little plastic rivets. I think there's six of them. Pull this forward like this. And then we're going to pull on the bottom. And this grill will come right off. It's just easier for us to do that. Okay, you're going to have to get a 13 millimeter uh, wrench. wrench. And back in here, right back in here is one bolt. Looks just like this. Loosen. It's kind of hard to reach in there. Loosen it, take it off, and then this thing will just pull right out. That simple. And as you see, we just come to the other side and repeat it. It's hard to show you, but the bolts, you'll feel it. You'll see it. It's right in there. And then we go up to the top here remove these 10 millimeters two of them which will take these off it's already getting loose Hold it. you can throw them away do what you want to do with them I just throw them in a drawer you never know Pops right off, and then there's a little um, plate here. I don't know, that's hard plastic, it feels like. There's what it looks like with the grill off. And there's the grill. And these just slip off. Again, this set works for any 07 to 17 Jeep Wrangler or Wrangler Unlimited JK. These are very heavy duty. They didn't cut no corners on the uh, weight. I'm sure I already said it, or maybe I didn't. But these are the Rampage ones. Second time using these, enjoying them. Great product. Take the large nut and the spin washer and set that in there. Put that in and snug it down, but don't put Gorilla Force on it, just snug it. And make sure that little rubber plate is on it. If it's fell off, put it on it. And then just tighten it on down. Just snug. Do not crank it down. And uh, you may have to adjust it up or down a little bit so that it's not too tight when you uh, put the latch on. I usually put this piece up as far as it'll go and then the piece up here down as far as it'll go and we're good okay whenever you get these nice and snug if you pull real hard to the right or the left it'll turn slightly uh, don't try to tighten it so tight that it won't turn because you'll tear it up but you've got to really put some force to get it to turn but that means it's nice and snug and it will align with the upper ones so you can't just turn this by just doing this. 
but if you put some real good force into it, you can get it to slightly turn. So just so you know that, that that is correct. Nice and snug. You're going to put this little latch up here. And it's Star Washer goes on the top. Star Washer goes on the top. And then these on the inside. On the inside. And your little Allen wrench. And tighten those down. Emma. Again, just snug, no gorilla force on them. Don't need to be super tight, just snug. You make sure that those uh, washers are not overlapping. Um, be careful so that they'll be touching each other but just make sure they're not overlapping each other and then there's a a rubber grommet or whatever you want to call it a rubber piece that goes under this kind of probably protects the paint in the Jeep would be my guess then you're gonna just come over and do the other side the same way They give you four keys also, which is nice. Again, make sure that when you attach this, when you bolt this in, that you pull this up toward the sky as far as you can get it before you tighten it. And these up here. Make sure this is all the way down before you tighten it and it should line up perfect on tightness on your Jeep. And there it is shut. Now put the grill back on and you're good to go. Lock them up. Thanks for watching.